Eggs are quite literally a fundamental requirement for life, and everything living on the planet begins as a bunch of cells that replicate inside these miraculous structures. While we, as humans, emerge from our eggs before being born, most of the development of birds happens outside of the mother. So they are laid within calcium shells to protect them from the threats that come their way. They can be all shapes, sizes, and colors that you could imagine. So if you're looking to experiment with your breakfast, here are the 15 most unique bird eggs in the world. <sighs> Number 15, Ayam Samani Eggs. A.M. Samani are native to Indonesia, and, usually, they are a completely black species inside and out, which means that their eggs can be totally black too. They are a breed of chicken that was created by crossing the green jungle fowl and red jungle fowl, and have such a distinct and loud crow that they're often used on boats as foghorns. They are a rare breed, and they don't lay very many eggs, usually no more than one a week. They also go through regular layoff periods, when they they will go for as long as six months without laying a single one. Their eggs are much larger than normal chicken egg and can range in color between a creamy pink and much darker black. The reason for this is a genetic mutation called fibromelanosis, which means that they produce much more melanin than other breeds. And it also gives them a creamy texture that's particularly sought after by Indonesian cuisine. With the rarity of the AM Samani eggs, they can be up to 40 or 50 times as expensive as a chicken egg. But but they are well worth a try if you get the opportunity. Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all that will take five seconds to complete. Let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you will get 10 years of amazing luck and fortune. Try it, it actually works. Number 14, Duck. Duck eggs are usually about 50% larger than the biggest chicken eggs, and can be a range of colors depending on the breed they have come from. Cayuga ducks, for example, lay ash-colored or black eggs, while others will produce eggs that are white, brown, or even sometimes light green. The shells are also much thicker than you'd be used to from a chicken egg, so are more difficult to crack. But the benefit to this is that it means they have a longer shelf life. The big difference compared to chicken eggs is what's inside though, and the white is virtually transparent. The yolks take up a large portion of the whole egg, and are much more flavorsome than those from a chicken. They are also far more nutritious, and contain high levels of protein and omega-3 fatty acids and are a preferred choice of people on a paleo diet who require foods that are higher in fat. The useful thing about duck eggs is that they can be used in any recipe, or way that you'd use a chicken egg. Although you'd need to experiment with quantities because the portion of yolk to white is different. Many chefs prefer working with them though, and because they have such a rich flavor, you'll often see them on the menus of high-end restaurants. Number 13, Emu. These amazing looking eggs are laid by emus, and in recent years, they've become increasingly popular as specialty eggs in Australia where there are large numbers of the birds. They're about 8 to 10 times larger than a typical chicken egg, have a proportion of 45% yolk and 55% white, and, according to producers, just one egg is plenty enough to bake a cake, or to provide scrambled eggs for three or four people. The yolks are extremely creamy, so are incredibly delicious, and as a result, are becoming far more common on restaurant menus in the country as a novelty product. While most are produced by farmers who are looking to rear more emus for their meat, around half of eggs are laid infertile, so are sold on to consumers at up to 30 times the price of a chicken egg. The most noticeable thing at first is, of course, their deep green coloration, and it takes practice and skill to crack them open without fracturing the shell into the bowl. They aren't so easy to obtain around the rest of the world, but if you ever see one in a store, it's well worth getting it to experience this delicacy for yourself. Number 12, Goose. Goose eggs are much rarer than those from other species because they only lay one per day during the spring months 
and then that's the lot for the rest of the year. They're up to twice the size of a chicken egg, but are said to be the best choice if you're a fan of the yolk. There's a much higher proportion of it to the white than you'll find in most other eggs, and the higher quantity of protein means that the albumin stays quite firm after it has been cooked, and the yolk stays creamy. The fat content means they are packed full of flavor, and they can be used to replace chicken eggs in any recipe, although requires slight alterations to the cooking method before they're ready to eat. Top chefs will always use goose eggs if they get the chance, and particularly like these eggs for making souffles and omelets because of how fluffy they are. Their size and availability around Easter also means that they are also ideal for arts and craft sessions with kids as something to decorate. Number 11. Guinea Hen Guinea hens are a species of game bird that are usually kept in small flocks. They're particularly useful on farms as a means of pest control and for sounding the alarm if something's not right on the property. But they're also prized for their meat and eggs. The eggs are a bit smaller than those from a chicken and are pointier on the pointed end. They are usually brown or light brown, with dark brown spots all over them. But unlike chickens, they only lay during certain times of the year, which means the supply isn't constant, and you won't always be able to get them from your local store. They taste fairly similar to what you'd be used to with a chicken egg, but are creamier because of the larger yolk, which usually appears much more orange. They are high in protein and contain much more nutrient than most other egg varieties. And because guinea hens are relatively simple to care for, you could keep some in your backyard and have your own regular supply. Number 10. Go. Seagulls are often seen as pests on shorelines around the world, where they hassle tourists and try to steal their food. But love them or loathe them, there's one thing a seagull produces that's a particular specialty, their eggs. They are particularly popular in the UK, where they've been used in cuisine for hundreds of years. But because they're a wild bird that can't be reared in the same way as a chicken or a goose, there are strict rules about how they can be harvested. Only licensed collectors are allowed to take eggs from nests. And even then, they are only allowed to gather eggs of certain species, such as black-headed gulls. Limits are put on the number that can be collected, and you can't buy them from stores. Instead, those that have them can only sell them to licensed restaurants. They have a rich, creamy, mouth-watering flavor, and can cost as much as $15 per egg. Usually, they're light green in color with black speckles, but with only 33,000 permitted to be sold every year, the chances of you actually being able to try one for yourself are slim. Number 9. Ostrich Ostrich eggs are, as you would expect from the largest species on the Earth, absolutely huge. Each one weighs around four and a half pounds and is the equivalent to 24 chicken eggs. This, of course, means that they take much longer to cook, and to boil one will take around 50 minutes. The shells are also incredibly thick to support their size, and you won't be able to crack it against a bowl. In fact, most people use a domestic drill to get the eggy goodness that's inside. Apart from the size, the egg is otherwise just like a chicken egg, and so is packed full of vitamins and useful nutrients. Don't eat an entire one yourself though, because each one contains a whopping 2,000 calories, which is the entire daily recommendation for most people. Around 47% of the egg inside is protein, and 45% is fat, which, if fertilized, provides young ostriches everything they need to be fit and healthy, and strong enough to break free of the shell. Number 8. Pheasant Pheasants are popular game birds, and there's a long history of keeping them for hunting but they also produce incredible eggs. That is, if you are actually able to find them. As well as laying in their own nests, pheasants have a habit of laying in the nests of other species in order to trick them into taking care of them as if they were one of their own. They are, therefore, often found in the nests of partridges and mallards, and it's only when they hatch that the deceit is revealed. The eggs are about half the size of a hen egg, pale olive, and in the spring each year they lay around 10 to 18 over a period of a few weeks. The lack of regularity in laying means that they are relatively rare, but if you are able to get your hands on some, you're in for a treat. They have a very rich flavor and are packed full of healthy nutrients. They can be used in virtually any recipe that requires eggs, but in restaurants, you'll usually see them poached as an appetizer because of their size. Number 7. Quail 
Whale eggs are popular around the world, and are seen as a luxurious alternative to chicken eggs. You've probably seen them on sale in some stores. They're the ones that are about a third the size of a normal egg, and are covered in brown pieces. The birds can be kept in the same way as chickens, although not in the same coop. And they're second only to chickens in terms of the number that are kept by people across the US, with around 40 million reared each year for their eggs, for meat, and for hunting. They lay regularly and will usually provide one egg a day. Despite needing about four quail eggs to replace a single chicken egg in a recipe, they contain a surprising amount of nutrients. With just 14 calories, they contain choline, riboflavin, vitamin B12, and selenium, amongst others. And they're often used in the production of vitamin supplements. They make particularly creamy scrambled eggs, but are great for omelets and poached eggs too. And are popular at parties where boiled quail eggs on sticks are an easily manageable morsel of food. Number 6. Turkey Turkeys are a popular bird around the world for celebrations such as Thanksgiving and Christmas, but as well as the delicious, if not slightly dry meat, did you know that their eggs are just as tasty too? They're a bit bigger than chicken eggs, the shell is slightly tougher, and the membrane beneath the shell is a little thicker. But apart from that, they're virtually identical. With such a similar taste, it's a surprise they're not seen in stores so often. But this is simply because their production is not as cost-efficient. Instead of laying once a day, they instead produce one or two a week. And because the birds are in such high demand at certain times of the year, it's far more beneficial for farmers to ensure they are all fertilized to increase the number of turkeys that are born. Those who keep turkeys in their backyards are pretty much the only people who are able to savor their flavor. And if you ever have the chance to try one, then it's absolutely worth it. Number 5. Robin's Egg Robins are beautiful small birds that usually have brown feathers a white belly, and the famous orange breast. But did you know that there's something even more interestingly colored about them? Incredibly, their eggs are pale blue, and it's such a distinctive color that robin egg blue is actually an official color tone. It's not entirely clear why this trait has evolved, because the color of eggs are usually in order to help them camouflage in with the nest. This is, of course, not the case with robin eggs, and Charles Darwin wrote about the peculiarity of their appearance. It's possible that being colored like this, they are able to withstand the sun's light, which is especially bright during the time of the year when robins lay. Now, it's only the eggs of the American robins that are like this, not of their European cousins, and each female will usually lay three broods of eggs per year. The eggs take just two weeks before they're ready to hatch, and since they're usually fertilized, it's not recommended to try and collect some for your breakfast. Number 4. Seti's Warbler Eggs Seti's warblers are a species of bird found across Europe. Africa, and Asia. And while their population numbers are quite large, you'll rarely see them because they spend their lives hidden within the undergrowth, around the ponds, rivers, and marshes, where they occasionally emerge to find worms and tiny insects. They typically grow to up to 5.5 inches long, and while you may not see them, you'll definitely hear their birdsong if you're nearby. For a species that prefer to keep to themselves, and that are themselves quite an unassuming color so they can remain hidden, it's perhaps a surprise then that their eggs are so vividly colored, and it's likely your screen doesn't give you a true idea of how brilliantly shiny copper or bright brick red their appearance is. They tend to lay two broods of eggs per year, usually in springtime, and may produce as many as five eggs each time. The species vigorously defend their territories to prevent threats reaching their young, and have have often been seen sacrificing themselves to distract dangers from reaching the nest. Number 3. Great Tanamu Eggs Great Tanamus are native to South America and are up to 17 inches long and look very similar to small turkeys. They have a particularly distinctive call that echoes out around the rainforest during the early evening. And although they can fly, they aren't very good at it, so usually walk along and forage on the forest floor. The birds are dark olive in color, have blue-gray legs, and are a polygenandrous species, where the males are solely responsible for looking after the eggs. They build their nests in the roots of trees, and females will couple with several males in each season. 
After mating, the female will lay up to five, and then he will incubate them until they hatch. Each egg is bright blue or purple, which is unusual because the Great Tanamu is the only ground-dwelling bird species that has eggs that are so vivid. Usually, this would mean that they are easy for predators to find. But because the males don't move for the whole three weeks of incubation, it's their feathers that help blend into the background. Number 2. Guillemot Eggs Guillemots are a species of seabird that live in large colonies on cliff sites. The perfect place to be able to fly out over the water in search of food. Because their nests are in such a precarious location, their eggs have evolved to be much safer in this environment than others would be. They are light blue with streaks of color across them, but the most unusual thing about them is their shape. Instead of being like most other eggs in the animal kingdom, they are conical with a really pointy end, and the reason for this is that it has a massive impact on the way that they roll. If you placed a chicken egg on a table, it would keep going if you pushed it, but if you did the same to a guillemot egg, it would spin around in a circle and settle very quickly. This, of course, is a major benefit because it means they are far less likely to fall out of the nest and potentially hundreds feet down to the sea below. Amazingly, they are also water repellent and self-cleaning, meaning they are perfectly suited to being on a cliffside. Number 1. Southern Cassowary Eggs Southern cassowaries are a flightless bird species that are native to Australia and are renowned for their large black feathered bodies and their bright blue necks. They are the second heaviest type of bird in the world and regarded as the most dangerous because of their aggressive personalities and sharp claws. The species is related to ostriches and emus, but have some of the most unusual and unique eggs of any creature in the animal kingdom. During the breeding season, the female will lay three to five eggs with each male that they partner with. And once they have been produced, it's the males that will look after them while the female moves on to find another mate. The eggs are huge and are almost as big as an ostrich egg. Unusually, they are a deep green color. But while this may mean they're at risk of being found by predators, there aren't many animals that would be brave enough to take on an angry cassowary. The males stay with their young for up to nine months after they hatch, and by the time the young are left to fend for themselves, they're virtually full-grown because of all the nutrients the egg has provided. Which did you find to be the most impressive? And which one of these do you think would be the best to make an omelette with? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!